watching the It Ends With Us movie that I, I was in. Hey guys, it's me Jemmy. Welcome, welcome back to another video. In today's video, this is gonna be watching the It Ends With Us movie that I was in. My parents are taking me to see the movie. The movie technically comes out tomorrow, but the AMC in my area released it um today. So we are going to go see it tonight around 7.30. And I'm literally so freaking excited, guys. You don't even understand because I was late in this movie. So it's gonna be very fun to see it. And yeah, I plan to see it a bunch of times. Hopefully, I actually made the cut because the scene that I was in, the very ending scene, it's the farmer's market scene where Brooke Lively, aka Lily in the movie, meets with Atlas and he's like, oh, is that your daughter? And she's like, yeah, that's Emmy Dash Emerson. So that's the scene I'm in. Look to the side of her, like on this side, and you'll see me and Adriana, the girl that I got to work with in the, in the scene, if we make it. Will come on this side of like lively, and I'm wearing like my hair like half a puff down like that, with, like a white pearl headband and like a white sweater. So, yeah, I'm literally so excited, and I figured you know this is a very monumental thing because even though I was still an extra, um, and I really didn't even get to talk to Luke Lively, it was still a pretty big thing. And even if I don't make the cut of the movie, you know, it's still a very pretty big thing because like, you know. A movie that I was on set with, which by the way, if you want to see the video from when I was on set, it is this video. So, yeah, but anyways, I'm going to start doing my makeup now. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a whole lot of makeup. Excited, I'm also excited to see like what people say about the movie tomorrow when it like officially comes out to like all the theaters and not just the one in my area. So, I'm like really excited to see what people are thinking but yeah you guys are probably wondering since i did work with blake lively in the movie <laughs> did i actually talk to her no <laughs> sorry to break everyone's bubble no i did not actually talk to um blake lively um i did like i said i my scene i did have the walk like right past her and i did bump into her and i was like oh my god i'm so sorry but it was honestly just like such a surreal um experience and i cannot wait to now start sharing about it because i couldn't say anything before um when we actually did work on set which was very sad obviously i did tell like friends and family and stuff like that but like i wasn't able to tell you guys so i just posted like a spend a day with me on set video um my mom is literally obsessed with colleen hoover she reads like all of her books especially the it ends with us series she literally loves that series so when she found out that I was booked for this movie to be even an extra she was like oh my god i am in the ending scene so i do have to wait two hours to actually see if i make the cut which is gonna be like the longest two hours ever i'm excited to actually see the movie because i've never read the books but my mom has so me and my dad will just be a little surprised because we don't know any context on it really new context from like the scene that i was actually in but yeah other than that let me see what other questions would you guys ask because i didn't put like a poll in my story because like i said couldn't say anything um so let me see oh yeah how did i probably apply to this you're probably wondering um so i applied to it from a casting website my dad actually did this for me normally i do all the applying but sometimes he does some applying too because he is my manager he uses like this other app but i use backstage because it's just like easier for me to access on like my computer and my phone so i use backstage he has this other app i think it's called actors access i'm not sure but he applied for this and then he got the details and then back in january we were notified and like i said i don't know how much i'm able to like actually share about like set experiences because i don't know if that's like confidential information but the set day since the scene we filmed on was the ending scene that was like the closing scene of like the whole entire movie so it was the last scene for pretty much everybody i believe um but let's just talk about how pretty blake lively is dude she's literally freaking gorgeous and being there with her like standing right next to her, i was like she's so pretty literally love blake lively during when she was in the super bowl with 
Taylor Swift. I literally remember it coming on the TV and me jumping up and be like, I met her. <laughs> she is in my movie. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a very fun moment. That's what I remember from, like, the Super Bowl. Just, like, me watching the whole entire time. <laughs> Caring about only Blake Lively because, like, I didn't care about the only thing I was caring about. Everyone else was raving about Taylor Swift, but I was raving about like Lively because the set there was literally so cold. Like we had to be given like hand warmers because it was so cold outside. But the set smelled so good because like I said, the ending scene that I was on was a farmer's market scene. Like I said, where Blake Lively and Atlas basically no Lily Bloom and Atlas basically meet in like the middle and they start talking and then me and the girl that i worked with we we walk by um and we're supposed to have like a little conversation like everyone's basically walking by them so yeah but the sneeze smelled so good because since it was a farmer's market scene it was like a popcorn booth and it smelled so freaking good and also i had like popcorn like my little bag that they gave me to carry and it has like a little cookie too and the cookie smelled so good and i'm trying to look at the cookie and it was really good. <laughs> on the floor and i was like oh no and then like one of the set people came over and she was like okay just like hold this blue bag of popcorn then and i was like okay yay <laughs> um because i love popcorn like i literally love popcorn popcorn's probably like my favorite snack other than like cheese it's because i don't know what's, what's about to taste they're just like so good especially cheese it's cheese it's is very very good um my last routine changes a lot but i'll show you like the two that i Mm, like switch between so i switched between sky high and the um last sensational from maybelline and the glossier and the fan fest so like i switch between the two of them but i always layer because laying is good hold it for a couple seconds and then i like move it up like that my eye probably looks like really weird right now on camera okay and then it looks like that that's literally without mascara guys <laughs> So, yeah, then I, like, do a couple coats, but then I go from, like, the root of my lash, because that's, like, the key guy. When I do, like, one coat mascara, I do recurl, but after I finish my lashes, I'm going to do setting spray, and then I'm going to go eat dinner, and then I'm going to come back up and do my hair, because we're eating dinner, like, pretty early, it's currently i think 5 30 and then i brushed out it's fully okay but we're eating dinner this early because like i said we're going to movies um literally the whole point of this video but then um and then my grandparents are coming to watch Josephine because obviously Josephine can't watch it ends with us um it is not a good movie for a seven year old to watch so my grandparents on my dad's side my nana and nono are coming to watch Okay, that's what the second eye looks like with our mascara. But I'm definitely gonna put the gloss on, but not right now because, like I said, I'm going to go eat. So it's just gonna come off anyways. Um, there's nothing on this fully. I'm really just like pushing my eyebrows back. I need to get them done. I haven't gotten them done before we left for Bermuda. By the way, guys, there was supposed to be a prep and pack with me for that because I always film a prep and pack with me before I actually go on vacation. But all the footage deleted somehow because the cap i went to go start editing their pump pack with me because when i added the footage into my editing app it was like 10 11 minutes i was like okay this will take a good like three hours so i might as well just like start now it only takes me like depending how long the video is the bermuda vlog that i just finished editing that took me around a whole week to edit because it was literally a whole week's full of footage and it was just so much and i wanted to make the video like really good um, because it was a very fun vacation, so I want to make the video look very professional. So, that's why it took much longer. But, a video like that, like the Lavalette vlog, which was the same amount of days as the cruise one, I think it was just one extra day, because we were on the cruise for five, and we went to Lavalette for like four days. Um, the Lavalette one took me about six hours. Obviously, it's still break, guys. I'm not just like sitting on my phone for six hours straight editing. Like, it, there was breaks in between. But anyways, I'm going to go series and eat dinner, and then I'm going to come back up and do a time-lapse of me doing my hair, because... Right now the hair at the moment is not looking cute.
We literally look so good, and the hair looks so good too. And now we're gonna go in the car and go watch the movie. I saw you guys. <laughs> <Big ass>. yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so I just got in the shower and I did an everything shower routine because you know the movies tend to be very dirty. But on my like reset days, slash like days I do my everything shower, I do my wavy hair. So that is what we're gonna be doing. The movie was so good. Me and my dad were like getting really nervous because we didn't think I was actually gonna be seen because like the scene started to come up. And like glad we had already met um I mean Lily had already met Atlas in the middle and we're like, Oh, um, am I gonna see am I gonna see myself? And then I see myself and I'm like, ah, I'm literally screaming. Um, nobody in the movie theater was really phased by me screaming, which was really good because I thought that there would be a problem, but thankfully there wasn't. Um, but I'm gonna finish wetting my head. In. So I just fully wet my hair. It's literally, it's literally dripping. Um, but we are going to start my hair care routine. But the movie was really good, besides obviously my part being the best guys um i think the movie was really good i'm gonna go see it a bunch of other times because i know my friends want to go see it with me um my grandma wants to go see it with me and my, my mom wants to go see it again um so yeah i'm gonna be definitely seeing it a bunch more times maybe i'll vlog all the time i'm going not sure but we're gonna spray my hair with the sunbum leave-in conditioner But I figured I'd do an outro to this very amazing video. Definitely one of the best videos on my channel. Just because of the fact that it's literally me being shown in the movie theater for three seconds. My my little fam guys. Um, hopefully there's more to come. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be the end of today's video. If you guys stay to the end of today's video, comment the this is very, very appropriate guys. Comment the little movie um plaque thing emoji for the end of this movie definitely suggest for you guys to go watch it not just because i'm in it it's because it was a really good movie and we really love like lively guys so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye i love you guys